Selko. Okay, so we gotta find Captain Selko wherever he is over here. We gotta find Captain Selko, he's over here. What is that? It's a red something. I don't know what that was, okay. Captain, is our airship ready for launch to Oroman? Just give the word, sir. Her hull's watered against the worst the Tempest Layer can throw at us. We'll swing you in for a clean drop to the Shrine Forge. No time to lose. Let's go. Let's get going. You have to get like right on top of them to Red Magnus. Double! 
Hello. I can't hit this guy to save my life. Okay. Did I get this? Go, homie. This blue magic just does the most damage. Well, you use it so much, like. Alright, think he's done. I'll be back for more. Yep, figure we was gonna die there. Alright. So it's Rig Magnus. We gotta find, try to figure out how we're gonna defeat this guy. Run. 
we so close to dying? How do we how do we kill this guy? Alright, how do we kill this man? We just have to spam them with the. Oh, we just died right there. I recognize this place. Daddy has showed it to me. There's got to be some kind of theoretical making machine thing here. Probably inside. And this machine will show us a weakness to the binding stone? In theory. So we don't know what to do once we're inside. I figured we'd improvise. You mean you would improvise? That entrance is blocked by a triarch ward. You're the only one going in. Lucky I'm here, sir. I'll get the portals powered back up for a return trip. All right, we're gonna upgrade in here. Figure out how to destroy the binding stone and let's get out of here. So there's they're blue, so Oh, so we just gotta follow this, right?
them all. So we gotta go this way. Try to get down here or something? No, I'm gonna point it that way. Interesting. All right, let's get up here. Huh, how do we do this? So here, but we need to be... Aha, okay. Cool. Oh look, I heal. Is 
that one goes that way, that one goes that way. Got one. There's one underneath there, so we have to. get past this There we have one. Interesting. So I will be back whenever we figure this out. Alright, so after some looking around this room, I think we figured it out. So here, see this thing down here? We gotta sit here and move that guy up. Just to be able to get up here. And... Hit that. Okay, cool. We got that done. Now it sounds like a boss. Oh my gosh. One of these guys. Oh my gosh, it's two of them.
Okay. Died in the process, but we got him. Okay. Hello. Hello. This room looks important. Where are we? The shrine forward, probably. I don't know. Yeah, you're talking about someone else. You're mistaking me for a guy named Sandrak, which frankly feels a little creepy. But anyway, I want to destroy the Binding Stone. You're not listening. I don't have a binding stone or a mark. I, I can't surrender what I don't have. I already told you I'm not. Wait. You can give me the same mark as Sandra. Control it or destroy it. You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. You don't win in ever war. If he found a way to use the Binding Stone, so can we. It's mastery over the fonts means I can end the war. And I choose to end the war. Give me the mark to control the Binding Stone. <laughs> I guess. All right. So that's what disobeying orders feels like. Not so good. Did 
you figure it out? Please say yes. Yeah, we're uh, we're good to go. With this, I can destroy the Binding Stone. We just have to get close enough to Sandrak. How do you propose we do that when we don't even know where he is? This mark gives me a connection to the Binding Stone. I can feel where it is. I can I can feel where Sandrak is. He's moving east, towards the deep near. There's a font in the ocean. Sounds like it. All right, pack it in. We're leaving soon. What's the play, sir? Devin and I will stay here at the Shrine Forge for a bit, see if we can find anything else of interest. And rig it to blow when the Rashanians return. You need to get back to the Palathon and brief Kirken. She'll figure out our next steps. But when you use that mark to destroy the Binding Stone, I want to be there. I want to see Sandrak's face when you just crumble it in his hand. You don't have to tell me twice, sir. All right. That'll be all, Initiate. Now head back to the Palathon. All right, let's go. Palathon. Well done, soldier. Meet me in the vault. We can finally have that conversation that I've been trying to avoid. The wall. This place is huge. Sir? Back here, Jack. Here. This dossier is for you. My report of Sandrak's time as an immortal. Some details remain classified. I'm sure you understand. This will have to do, then. Thank you, sir. Come. Show me the mark you recovered from the Shrine Forge. Uh, sure. It lets you feel the movements of the Binding Stone? Yeah. Sandrak's definitely sailing the Deep Mere. But his movements are... weird. Erratic. Unfortunately, we can't afford to send a large force out to sea. Most of the Light's army musters at the front, and we need them to remain there. You, Zandara, and Devin will have to face Sandrak alone. Well, not exactly alone. My contacts in the Clayless Traders Guild provided us with a Colossal during the Trenchship Rebellion. I never gave it back. It'll take time to wake her up. She's not seen service in a very long time. Captain Selko's a fine steersman, if I recall correctly. And I can guide him to wherever Sandrak is using my mark. That's the plan. Now, unless you have something else to ask me, that'll be all. Look. I know what I said earlier, but you've been hiding anything and everything about Sandrak being an immortal since day one. I deserve more than a report you wrote up. Tell me, Jack, if you had a very close friend that you shared a common cause with for the longest time, a vision of what was right and true and good, and they betrayed that vision, betrayed you, how would you feel? Would you want to talk about it? Could you talk about it? If the person you once knew became someone you could never now understand? Yes, absolutely. I'd have to know how it even got to that point. Sandrak and I were companion in arms for longer than you've been alive. We stood against the Kalthus Estates, the Sea King Usurper, the Colossals of the Arjaman Pretenders, even against Rasharn, his homeland. And then one day, he refused to participate in a mission that could have very well ended the war. What mission? Read the report. And we're back to that. Look, what's important is that Sandrick had orders, and he allowed his own hubris to ignore them. He made a decision that jeopardized the rest of us because he thought 
he knew better. Ah, uh, yeah. Hubris sure is some bad news. It's terrible. For the breaking of his oath to the Order, I exiled him back to Rasharn as punishment, thinking his ancestral enemies there would be the death of him. That last part didn't work out. Not even a little bit. All right. I've got everything I need, sir. Zendara and Devin should have already returned by now. You'll all set out for the Deep Mirror in the morning. Oh, one more thing. The Oromic girl, Kenzie, she wanted to speak to you when you returned from the Shrine Forge. I think she's a bit smitten with you. Yeah, I don't know if it's limited to just me, sir. All right, new chapter. I'll be seeing y'all in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit that notification bell. Be seeing y'all there. Bye-bye, and take care.